So this game has a map. Yeah, I mean, this game this game is by far, like, the FromSoft worlds are huge. They're big, right? Like, the world of Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, they're huge. The world of Sekiro is big. This, this world dwarfs those worlds. Like, so this is the above ground. There's all different areas we haven't even been, right? And here, there's also, like, a massive underground area. And, like, inside these castles, it's not just, like, a big empty room, like inside the castles are pretty detailed so they're 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 absolutely huge this area this entire game is massive damn dude Wow, that uh, so that potion, I added on the effect on my potion of, all uh, it negates damage. That is crazy. I'm getting hit by shit that would have done like my oh well maybe it's not that crazy. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm getting hit by shit that would do like my entire life bar. We just got a new helmet. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Neat. You look fantastic. Seems that shield doubles the potion effect. Highway Lookout Tower. Got another about Lanedale and a lord over it. Oh yeah, there was something about. Well, I don't even remember what they were saying about Lanedale. There was a path underneath Lanedale or something. I, I don't remember. Hefty Beast Bone. You want some too? Come on up. Frenzy Lord under Limedal. Yeah, was that it? Something like that? And they all kind of lined up nicely for me. Bring it on, bub. <laughs> Bro. It's even got the fucking chain, dude. What if they reversed it? <laughs> uh, we found a great bow and some great arrows. Okay. Is, is there going to be a mimic in this game? Is there going to be a mimic? In in Dark Souls, in Dark Souls One, they don't they don't tip their hand on the mimic until uh until what's it called? Uh, Sense Fortress is where they finally tip and it's where they finally do it. Uh, there's a seed thing over there. Come on, what a sack of shit. Do I have a good sense of how far along I am right now? Not really. No, I don't. <laughs> I really don't.
I don't remember how many souls I had. I wonder where those uh, tree guardians are. I wonder where those guys are, right? You love the pimp slap claws? What do you have so far? Like 20 hours? For fuck's sake. God damn it, dude. Fuck am I going, dude? <laughs> where am I? Where am I going? So this is where I am. I'm off the map. I'm just totally off the map. There's another Erd tree down there. I'm going you're going nowhere. This is the 24 hour stream? Uh, no, it's not. Pretty much. Like I told my wife, just consider, just for all intent and purposes, consider me dead. <laughs> just consider me dead for a while. Uh, so I kind of wanted to go towards those windmills, but I can't make it there dead but bring me coffee once in a while <laughs> yeah pretty much i can't make this i can't make this trip down it's too far yep yeah. you're mourning barbarous king today i think a lot of people are mourning are mourning the loss of loved ones right now because of uh because of elden ring <laughs> we're not gone we're not gone permanently though back uh i am sv thank you for the two months thank you i am sv appreciate that thank you so much uh Okay, we found a new one. Another realm tear. Darkest dungeon later. Legends don't die, they simply fade away. Has Barb Y been using the Wolverine Claws to switch from the ball and chain? Uh, I've been switching back and forward. Some, if, a, if an enemy doesn't bleed, then it's much better to use the, the flail. Are there dungeons in this game or is it mostly outdoor exclusive? There are definitely dungeons and caves and castles and, and boss fights. I feel like you name it, this game's got it. Oh, we fought one of you fuckers before. I was just trying to get out my fucking weapon. I didn't even get a chance to get my goddamn weapon out and he fucking murdered me. Cam Ewing, thank you for the 37 months. Thank you, Cam Ewing. I literally didn't even get my my weapon out. You blame the helmet. Can't really call that a fight. Well, I fought, I fought the last guy. This guy, not so much.
Why am I uh, hurt? Did I get struck by lightning or something? I don't think I've caught if I caused any bleed on him. Man, black knife, new weapon. <sighs> Fucking a dude. That was whooping my ass. Black knife. So this is a weapon that does, uh, does some bleed damage. Or it does some, uh, woo. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So this weapon does some holy damage, it seems. I wonder if this weapon upgrades with uh, the knots uh, with the other thing. I wonder. That fight was probably a lot harder than it should have been because I don't have uh, 
I, he didn't bleed, so. Speaking of dungeons and undergrounds and shit, here we go. Does it give you invulnerability while doing it? Thank you so much, Cam Ewing. Sainted Hero's Grave. Oh, man. So I can't level up. Use one. Go for it. Is it just one or is it two? Oh, so if you look carefully, it'll tell you how many you need. Okay. Crimson Seed Talisman. What is that? We got a new talisman? Boost HP restoration from Flask of Crimson Tears. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Gives you more, uh, gives you more HP. Sure. So that means we get more, uh, more rest up. We get more from that. Shadow bathes in light and knows weakness. You hear footsteps somewhere. So these enemies are not going to bleed at all. They're not going to bleed. I feel like I want another weapon uh, aside from the flail for enemies that don't for enemies that don't bleed. Okay, this guy like doesn't exist. So wait, something is going on here. So if you drag them in here, it makes them vulnerable. I think. Um, I thought, maybe not. <laughs> okay, it does. That's interesting. That is a lot, uh, that is a lot of guys. That is a lot of these things. These things are nasty. They are fucking nasty, dude. Holy dagger. Uh, we could go check out, um, might just need the claws cause they're faster. We can go check out and see if this dagger levels up with, uh, with the other thing. Hang on. So if we, so we're currently, actually it doesn't consider us underground yet. This is just like a dungeon, I guess. Uh, can I travel to a site of grace from this location? I was going to go check to see if that dagger uh, did. So, so this one says, Shadow bathes in light and knows weakness. So you have to bathe them in light to kill them. Uh, what was I saying? See, which way am I? I'm lost. Okay, this is not the way we were going before. This is the way. Uh, I don't know if that knife levels up with the other kind of upgrade material. We should check that out. Didn't I buy a deck sword? I did. I haven't upgraded it though. I still like, ha have you, all right. Have you found a guy that sells the shards? Have you pressed yet? Yeah, press one in the chat if you found the guy. Did you find the guy? You found him? You did? Fuck, man. You absolutely found the guy? Yo, fuck you. <laughs> I can't find that guy to save my fucking life. 
I don't know where the fuck that guy is. I don't know where he is. You think I've seen him already? I mean, maybe I saw him and like I missed him. It's a guy in a trench coat. I think jumping R2 is pretty good against these guys. I think it disables them. Yeah, these guys are assholes. These guys are assholes for sure. Big time. chasing me kind of fucked off all right let's go this way so i think my potion doesn't make me permanently resist damage i think it gives me like a couple of uses like it gives me like maybe like one hit will basically do no damage Fucking close calls there, man. Some real fucking close calls on that one. My Estus heals so much, I actually have a rune that's making it uh, heal for more. This is a giant gate. Dodging takes less stamina, but you have fewer avenues of attack. The big difference I've seen is the trade-off. You have uh, dodging takes less stamina, but you have fewer opportunities to attack. Uh, what do you mean in this game in general? Okay, where? I'm sorry, you collapse the floor. What do you want me to do? Oh, this. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> there you go. I didn't see it. Well, we know for a fact we can ride these up, right? We know that. Uh, Tasty Mew, thank you for the tier three nine months. Tasty Mew, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you very, very much. Please don't eat Mew. Another one.
man. I think a lot of the Pokemon in general look pretty delicious to me. They should make a game about eating Pokemon and how to pr how to properly like butcher and fillet them. I play that game. Gotta eat them all. So this one requires a another stone shard. Fuck it. I'm I. You know what? I will always waste my stone shards because I'm just too curious. I'm just too curious. I want to see. This could be like nothing. I gotta see what's in here. Dragon Crest Shield Talisman. Okay. Uh, what does that do? Greatly boost physical damage negation? Holy shit. Pick it up. Glad I did that. Hopefully that's good. And that children is how Barb became a tank. Wow, well, we'll see, right? <laughs> For all we know, it might be, maybe it's kind of meh. It's hard to tell. I haven't fought a big boss in a while. What was the last big, I guess, Last, I feel like the biggest boss I fought today was the moon chick. She was like a main boss, I feel like. Like a big boss. Praise the moon. The mummy dragon. Yeah, I feel like the moon chick was more important. Like, I feel like you have to beat the moon chick. I don't think you have to fight the dragon asshole, but what, but what do I know? I Who knows? Maybe you need to fight them all. Yeah, I don't know where this takes me. It's clearly a room I've never been. me this game <laughs> please <laughs> just let me heal once <laughs> please <laughs> god uh all right where am i where am i so we're on top of here What was in that corner? Did I miss something? Let's get to it. Oh, so this guy's immune because he's not in the light. Uh, well, we can't even fight him here. Uh, DJR, thank you for the... DJ Romy, thank you for the brand... Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Get out of here!
Uh, thank you very much, DJ Romy. Really appreciate the brand new sub. Uh, so I have no idea where the lever is. Use your torch on him? I don't think so, dude. Mystery J, thank you for the resub. Thank you, Mystery J, or for the continuing the gift sub. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Well, man, I don't know. I haven't seen a lever. So there's a door. I haven't seen a lever. Pull the lever, Kronk. We ditched the, uh, the darkness, dude. I already killed this fucking thing. I think it just comes back infinitely. Always lost and loving it. Climb a different blade. I don't know if I can see anywhere else to go. Can you? That's where we came in at. Pick the map. There you go. Extremely helpful. This game has a lot of crazy cool enemies. Does anything look suspicious here? It's like no hints of Zelda. You got a Mitch flower power. I don't know. I'm stumped. I am stumped here. I don't know where to go. It can't be here, right? Hang on. I mean, do I have to kill this guy? Like, drag him all the way back? I mean, I guess it's not that far. Looking kind of sus. I don't know. Maybe we get something for killing this guy. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Somewhere a heavy door opened. <laughs> fuck. You, you had to kill, you had to drag this guy all the way here. In the room where you found him is the, is the, oh, this is the door that just opened. Are they implying that his penis is the lever? the implication there okay let's take a look at him uh how many how many healing do i have i have like no healing uh all right uh, let's start a bet start a bet i have no idea what's in here i only have two heals We'll say two tries. Will I beat this in two tries? Yes, no. Will I beat this in two tries? We haven't done a bet in a little while. Now you guys are probably getting antsy and you want to bet. Will I beat this in two tries? Two tries. Place your bets. Maybe this is the final boss. That There's not a lot of things are guaranteed here. The one guarantee is that this is definitely not the final boss. <laughs> 
That is the one guarantee here. It is definitely not the final boss. Uh, death and taxes. Thank you very much. So like first try, second try. After I die, if I die twice here, that's it. Uh, thank you, death taxes. Appreciate it. This first attempt, I would say first try. I only have two heals and there's a respawn thing right here. But uh, yeah, I only have the two heals. So, okay. Let's see. What do we got? Ancient Hero of Zamor. That's the explosion. Uh, style, style vibes. Thank you for the four months. Thank you very much, Stall vibes. Okay, well, now we've got full heals. Let's try it again. Come on, man. Like, he just like, so often you're just like, fucked. Like, no matter what you were gonna do, you were just fucked. Like, jump, fucked. Attack, fucked. Dodge, fucked. Oh, thank you, bleed. God. Attack fucked. Dodge fucked. Heal fucked. Like, so often. That's how it goes, man. Okay. Oh, was there a... Was there a... There wasn't a chest. I should have... I really should have looked around more carefully. There might have been a chest or something. All right, GG. Now, I wonder, did I see everything there was to see in there, I wonder? I <laughs> really wonder, if there's anything left to see in there. Third try, not bad. This game is sadly too easy. Uh, well, first of all, I wouldn't say that at all. I think this game has been very challenging. I think that a number of the bosses have been over the top like really crazy i would not say that whatsoever i also think that because of the open world nature depending on what you get 
depending on where you go and when, some stuff is going to be harder and some stuff is going to be easier. So, like, if you go fight Merigit with a, with a plus zero weapon at level three, you're going to get fucking shredded, you know? But if you go around the entire world, maybe, maybe you can make Merigit a joke, you know? So, I don't know. Yeah, that was that it, it was going it was it was easy and then all of a sudden it turned very hard in there because uh bro is that a lightning a lightning goat was rolling at me <laughs> it's a lightning goat <laughs> uh we'll pay the people in a minute by the way Go. Lightning Ram. Okay, sure. It's always difficult to say, but so far I would say that this is the difficulty to me seems on par with something like Sekiro. You know, it seems pretty high. Lightning Great Bolt, and we found another tear. Where'd you come from? Have I fought the Dung Eater? I don't even know where the fuck he is, dude. I no idea. I haven't seen him. I don't know if I've taken, like, I feel like maybe I took, like, a really weird path in the game. You know, like, maybe I took a really weird path. <laughs> uh, excuse me. usually do that's why we like you i wasn't trying to oh, that guy got fucking annihilated uh markham x thank you for the five months kona thank you for the 15 months thank you very much uh how many souls i have forty six thousand souls can i travel let me go back here yeah i want to travel here Okay. What about the mind goblin? What about the mind goblin? Uh, I am level 51 is my current level. That is my current level. What if the game feature shows your path? And doesn't Breath of the Wild do that? I kind of like that about Breath of the Wild. Well, I took you for dinner matter. It's all this. Oh, no, Barb. So I need more plus three. Sh uh, I need level three smithing stones for the for the claw. Oh, dude, check it out. The black knife that we got from that one guy. It does take somber smithing stones. That is the weapon that has the flame attack. The blade of death. Seems like it does holy damage. Mm, we can wield it already. Oh, I didn't realize we also found a partisan, uh, which is a, another kind of spear, I guess. Uh, tree spear, halberd. Uh, we can't wield the golden halberd. Uh, all right, let's level up the black knife. Sure. So it's a black knife plus four? Okay. We'll try it. Oh, wait. So hang on. Is, isn't there uh, some kind of dual wielding thing in this game? Can't you like power stance or something? Okay. So I've got the, the claw and the black knife. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, I guess I can also level up. Where's the blacksmith at? Uh, well, there's a number of blacksmiths in the game. Dex? Sure. Double Dex. Dex me up. And, all right. So, let's see. Drelanko, thank you very much. Thank you for the 45 months. Can you farm Titanite shards on Dark Souls 1? Yes, you can. Yes, definitely. It may, it's maybe not advisable, but you, you can for sure. So that's where we just were at the Sainted Hero's Grave, I 
guess let's travel back there. Have I been able to identify any S tier weapon or armor drops? Uh, no. Like when you say S tier, do you mean like really, really good stuff? So wait, am I am I wielding it? So I can wield both at the same time, but like, is there a point to doing that? Oh, there's a point to doing it. Like the equivalent of a Black Knight weapon, not that I've seen, no. Swagger. How do you, can I wield the flail on the thing? Yes. Mixing damage. Let me just try the dagger out for a while. So this dagger has a cool, if you haven't seen it, this dagger's got a cool weapon art. I mean, it seems kind of slow, but it's cool. Uh, no auger of a brightest. Uh, I haven't I haven't seen anything that I was like, oh my god, this is broken. Uh, I think so far bleed seems pretty good. There are a number of enemies that just straight up like they don't bleed. So there's a limit to how good it is. Uh, a hype train. Oh, did you, did you pay out the bet? All right, thank you. It shoots sonic boom. Completely useless, but cool. God damn it. <sighs> I take the elevator back up. You can't like, let me just double check this. All right. <sighs> I respect the attempt. Gravity is the hardest ball. I didn't even go that far. I feel like. Hundred and ten bread, please send crumbs. No shield? Well not if I want to use the weapon art. The dagger looks wimpy. <laughs> Playing with katana and the bleed is insane. Uh I definitely like the bleed on the uh the Wolverine claws, which is why I was using those. Wolverine claws had nice bleed. That's probably like my main weapon right now, or the Wolverine Claws. Probably like my main weapon at the moment. Okay, where are we going? So Mimi, Mimi dying and jumps aside. We actually like straight up don't know where to go right now, right? Like aside from exploring this area as much as we can. Uh, I could beat the two tree guardians, but I doubt that that's progress. There's the puzzle, which we don't understand. It said solve the puzzle. And it's like, what puzzle? <laughs> it's like the walls where it's like a gesture, right? Uh, we don't really know where else to go at the moment. We're just kind of going everywhere. Just solve it, God. Fuck you, bear. I'd say it's hard to tell how good it is. The range is short. I mean, it's a fucking dagger, right? Oh. Is this just a... Maybe it's just a tunnel.
Uh, other seal half. Amber, starlight. Is that, wait, is that a rune? I still don't understand the great runes. I still do not understand that. It looks a tiny bit faster than the claws. I mean, maybe, yeah. It's a reskin Pokemon yellow. That might be the, the hottest take I've seen. You see that I I framed right through it. Punch me? It's cool that the uh, attack seems to do uh, additional damage, the holy damage. So it's only that attack that actually does the holy damage. It's the only one that actually does it. Everything else just kind of is whatever. All right. I'm going back to the Wolverine Claws. It was a fun experiment. No one beats the power of anime. It drained a few hundred off. Yeah, but... You know, I, I don't know. Only when that happens, only when I do that, I'm going to be forcing myself to use it and getting damage done to me the whole time. I'm not dying as much as I was yesterday. I mean, that's just welcome to the Souls games. When you start off, you're a fucking weak, pathetic baby, and you get, you get more Estus, you get better Estus, you know, you get more bonfires, better weapons, more armor. Like, that's kind of how it goes, man. Okay, I kind of want to see what that mausoleum looking thing is. Uh, Solwyn Calliope. Thank you for the 11 months. Thank you, Solwyn. Laser enjoyed Code Vein looking for elevators. Yeah, it takes a... Uh, I have to find a lot of gold. If I want to upgrade my Estus more, I have to find a lot of golden seeds. Oh, you know what that is? That's where I came in from because it's got the two guards right there. So that's the place where I came in from. Okay, got it. Understood. Let's go this way. Uh, yeah, I chose the level one class to start. That's, that's what I wanted to do. Wow, look in that direction, dude. Has a big mountain. Jeez, man. is what they called you in prison. The glory. Oh, is he asking like, why did I do that? That's kind of what I wanted to.
string. Oh. A little stutter right there. Uh, I can't wait to be in prison to see what they call me. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Let's place a bet. Start prediction. First. Try. Yes. No. Okay. I'll let you guys place your bets. Will I first try? I have no idea what's in here. Dude, my, I haven't fought the Mind Goblin yet. All right, let's do it. Demi-Human Queen Galika. Whoa. This thing's got some janky looking movements, man. Hey, GG. First try, shout out to the bleed. This boss needed some skeleton ads. Fuck you. <laughs> Definitely did not. Uh, I got a door. Is this gonna teleport me? Ritual sword talisman, new talisman. Raises attack power when HP... Wow! Raises your attack power when HP is at maximum. That's like the Lloyd Sword Ring. I like it. So, never for me. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> In other words, for me, never. Okay, where's my thing? Over 11 hours today? You know, you're gonna really lose your mind when you see how much I streamed yesterday, too. Okay, so we are... The middle of nowhere. <laughs> Fuck. Ancient dragon. My horsey! Uh, a little strange. Did Barb just encounter Entei? 
I don't know what that was, dude. I call that strange. Ah, uh, my kids are screaming for bread. bread. Must have been a French trick. <laughs> Shut up. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's go. You know when you speed by an enemy and give him a hit for no reason? That's what the dragon just did. I did. I did a lot of damage to it with the when I when I built up the bleed. Grab some more endurance. What the fuck is this? Elevator? Oh! I want to go down. The bullshit, man. Jump in. It's not going to work. We know it's not going to work. Jump, you coward. You saw you're up to 52% completion in Horizon Forbidden West. Are you? Did you enjoy the game? Did you like it? Uh, you, mu you must have if you're that far along in it, right? Cat's tails, use the horse. Nah, it doesn't work. Even if you ditch the horse or whatever, it's just not going to happen. Maybe there's another way in and that's the way back out. I hear a Van Halen song playing in the background near the well. But I understand the Dark Souls world has such a hollow earth idea. Great narratively. Uh, yeah. The only thing I'd say is that, uh, you know, that's kind of like a video game functionality and... The other thing I would say is that this isn't Dark Souls, it's Elden Ring. Obviously, it's, you know, I'm not trying to be pedantic, but it is a, a totally different game. I also would say that uh, Dark Souls and Bloodborne should not be considered together, and Sekiro should not be considered together. So, to sell the cat ring is a liar. It is a fucking liar, it is. People like to combine them all, and there are a lot of similarities, but... Okay. We didn't have to be enemies. We could have been friends. These things are so suspicious to me. These things are insanely suspicious. I keep finding these. As you can examine it. What does it say? Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. So wait, you can actually use these for something? They have like a purpose? They have a purpose? I, I, I guess I never examined them before. Huh. This one needs, look at that. This one needs to get into this gate. You need two. I don't have two. How many do I have? I only have one. Dude, every time I see one of those doors and I can't open it. All right, two rules about those doors. If I see a door and I can open it, I, it's a guarantee I'll open it because I'm like, oh my God, what's in there? I will, I will guarantee I'm going in there. Second rule is I am insanely disappointed if I can't go in. I'm like one short or something, or if I don't have one, I'm like, I can't go in. <laughs> Those are the rules. You can place waypoints. Yeah, you can place waypoints on the map. Oh. oh shit, this is the uh, Capra Demon guy, is it not? It sure is. How many fucking plants are there here? Jeez. Omen killer uniform destroying his garden. Is that chain the wrong way?
<laughs> Perfumer's cookbook. I'm so, every time, every time, every time. Paranoia, but justified paranoia. <laughs> so do we get some new uh, armor? It's new armor now. Uh, let's see. Mm, I don't know. Omen killer robe. I can actually wear this. This is actually better armor. Most of the damage I take is physical. It's actually Gift slightly better. Sub. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Marigold, thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see what else is here. Perfume bottle. Uh, Thank you very much, Marigold. I really appreciate that. Subbing spree. Uh, Manon, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you, Manon. Well. I guess that's all there is to do here um, in this area. We found there's a cave beneath this area. It requires two of the stones, and I only have one, because I spend them as soon as I get them. So we're, uh, we're kind of SOL. I thought maybe there would be another here, but it seems like no. I'm writing a rhetorical analysis right now. The hat looks like it's from the Emperor's New Groove. I've got some other hats I could wear. Uh, let's see. What are some other hats? Wow. The Whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The glintstone scarab makes you take more damage. And I was wearing this fucking thing on my face. Negative 5.8. <laughs> I was wearing that thing like forever. I was wearing that thing forever. Kill the big plant. Do you think you're going to get something if you kill the big plant? Gift sub. Oh, is there is there a cave down here? There actually is a cave down here we didn't go into. Nascent butterfly. Ooh. 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 Oh, do I have a... Uh... Does this cure my poison or does this just... It doesn't cure my poison, but it makes my HP come back. All right. Uh, Arrow Nexus, thank you very much. Perfumer's Talisman. What does that do? Uh... Raises potency of perfume items. Are perfume items like you throw, you throw a thing at an enemy and it's like it, it, it poisons them or affects them or something? Yeah, I do have a spell to cure poison. I'm not sure if I can wield it or not. I'm not sure if I can. Okay. Oh, we're still short of stone. So we can't go down in that pit. 
Theoretically, that pit combines with the other one that we can't, we don't know the way out of. We, we don't have proof of that, obviously. We're just theorizing. Kind of impossible to know. You got a good perfume cookbook just recently yet? Uh, let's see. What do I have here? Uses FP to scatter sparks in a wide area. Uh, clarifying uh, alleviates madness buildup so we can actually make some of this stuff. These are the perfume. Boost ally attack power reduces incoming damage once. So though it seems like they're like a, uh, buffs and debuffs and items. Okay. He's on a kill quest. I'm on a kill quest. What do you mean? I'm just trying to do anything. I'm not, I'm not on any kind of quest. <laughs> I'm just going everywhere all the time. Going wherever the yeah, Thanks going wherever the wind blows. Uh, Aronias, thank you for the ten months. Thank you, Aronias. Melkog, thank you so much for the nineteen months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Will Barb die in this cave? Yeah, we can do a bit of that. Why not? I think these are just small runes. We can probably do this and quickly level up. Okay. Wide Barb, happy. I'm gonna go catch up on the VOD, but I want to put in my thanks for the playthrough. Hey, Dino Mom, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Let's get some more endurance. I can continue to wear heavier and heavier armor. Uh, am I still using the flail? No, I am using... Uh, oh, w first try. The answer was yes, first try. Uh, start prediction. Let's see. Uh, will Barb die in cave? Yes, no. I won't reverse it. Usually I like to have the believers be the yes, but uh, will Barb die in this cave? Yes or no? Place your bets. What do you think? Yeah, we got the Wolverine claws. Perfumer rather than chemist seems like a bad translator decision. Uh, maybe. I guess if this cave connects down to like an absolutely massive cave. Oh, that one was obvious. <laughs> if it connects with like an absolutely massive cave, I guess we'll, t we'll do it until I go out, until I leave the cave. Like if this goes to like a huge fucking cave or something, which I don't know, man. Beats. Your streaming stamina never ceases to amaze me. Thanks for the entertainment. Well, Blackjack, uh, it's really easy to stream when you're having a fantastic time. And I'm having a fantastic time today. Another hidden wall. <laughs> I'm having a fantastic time today. I haven't really dropped any frames. Uh, the game's been super fun. Uh, chat's been fucking insanely generous and hasn't been spoilers. I think everybody's just having a good time, man. Everybody's enjoying themselves. Lost Ashes of War. So the Lost Ashes let you duplicate another ash, if I remember right. Rejuvenating Boluses. Golden Rune. Yeah, it's pretty disappointing when your when your streams like the frames won't even. Yeah, well they made these they made these hidden walls pretty obvious, didn't they? Oh, these are like.
Didn't realize they were those guys. Didn't realize they were more skeletons. I built up my stamina with the help of Chat's mom. Very true. She's a fantastic personal trainer. Jeez, man. Okay, I'm going to try something here in a minute. We're going to try something. Let me show you what we're going to try. Uh, uh oh. Oh, uh, that's not what we're going to try. I forgot about that. <laughs> Hang on one second. <laughs> Here's what we're going to try. I think that the holy damage from this dagger, well, the, the this dagger will be better here than the claws. I think that the dagger will fucking shred here. Now we can go back to that other area. <laughs> Raptor ta excuse me. Dragon wound grease. I'm sorry. What the fuck are Raptor talons? So these are like claws. They cause, they're like pretty much the same thing. I think the difference is that these have worse strength scaling. And they weigh a little bit less. But here's the weapon. <laughs> Look at these. So they're, they're basically just, they're basically just another pair. Another pair is what they are. Another pair of claws. Okay. That's pretty funny though. <laughs> like look like Edward Scissorhands. Uh power of negativity, thank you for the nine months. Dr. Clayton, thank you for the five months. You heard this game is really good. Uh this is This is an a very, very, very good video game. Really the only issues like we're like, okay, let's look critically at Elden Ring. I feel like once again the story is like a question mark like they bring in they you know they bring in and i mean it's intentional too because that's what they want uh, i guess that's where we're going that's what they want they want it to be a question mark it isn't like oh man you know we tried to write a story and it didn't make sense like they want it to be that way so but i i, I wonder like why do they why do they go out of their way to bring in george r, r. martin like one of the most one of the most known writers like well-known writers just for that like yeah it looks like i'm dropping some frames hang on you mean the one ring original okay looks like i dropped a couple frames but seems like we're okay like i just wonder why bring in george r, r. Mar whoa whoa there's two wait 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 there's two fog gates there's one there and there's one here like why bring in george r, r. martin why do all of this you know like I feel like I'm not, I understand why your character is a nameless, like who the fuck is he? Like who even knows who this a nameless dickhead is, right? Like I understand because it allows the player to self insert and, and play the game and not have a character, right? But stories are written in a certain way where there's characters, plot, development, conflict, and 
it just doesn't exist like it's not a story like there's really just not it's not there dude check out oh yeah it's like a face hugger mask you see this shit that's crazy so the world can be super cool but it's just not there's not really a story you know there's just not a story uh in my opinion anyway so I feel like they they're, they're amazing at, they're amazing at making really cool interesting worlds and they're just terrible at making so stories that people can follow. No, I know, but I mean the story is there for you to find if you want. I know, but telling me to like read every item description and try to piece together what's going on like if that were a book we would criticize it as being nonsensical. So if it's a video game it shouldn't be any different. Like a story storytelling is storytelling regardless of the medium. So um Necromancer Garrus. What is that? <laughs> Suck on that. I ran out of juice. Wow. I got I got it all. I got hit by it all, man. Wow. Uh so he's kind of just a regular ass kind of NPC guy. But man, those spells that he's got those spells, those are so, so cool, man. Oh my God. I love like, I wonder does the player have access to those spells? Probably, right? Thank you. Guys, I have a sandwich. Are you jealous? Hmm. How, there's got to be a fast way to get back there. Thank you. I got two sandwiches. <laughs> Can I make that jump? Can I make that show us? Look at my look at my sandwich. Look at my sandwich. That's made with love. Fuck yeah. So, is there no... Do you guys think there's a, there's a faster way there? Or does he want me to just run the whole way, right? I don't know. I feel like there's got to be a faster way, right? This way. Ah, uh, this way. Pay out the bet. We'll pay out the bet, guys. Relax. Nobody's nobody stole your channel points. Golden great arrows. Why are you adding me over and over? What do you want? Oh. 
Do you think it'd be better if FromSoft added something like Mimir into the game for lore and exposition? I think a big, at least in my opinion, a big problem with the storytelling is a lot of the game begins and it's a typical fantasy thing where they throw out so much terminology at you so fast that it's like, I don't know what anything is. And then the unkindled traveled and then they went to this one and then they traveled here and then the Elden and it's like, I don't know what any of this means. You never explained it to me. You have to slowly introduce concepts and build it up and like, and slowly give it. And it, they, they always do it. They always do it. And they've only gotten like worse at it too. Like they've only gotten worse about it. They always do that. Fantasy or fantasy books do that too. Fantasy books also do that. Mm hmm. Not the item descriptions are useless. Yeah, I mean, I can sit here all day and read every item description. It's not going to make, it's not going to help that much. Eat shit. So... When these skulls are out, if I attack, if I get hit, essentially in big fucking trouble. Did I just read that right? Hang on. We just got a flail that is called Family Heads. Generate rattle the copper of some vengeful spirits. If you have 16 intelligence, you use the weapon art. It creates the heads that chase after you. It's a mace of your family, of this guy's family's heads. <laughs> I need a lot of intelligence to be able to wield this. I'm using the dagger because it has holy damage. And there's a fuckload of skeletons here. As far as NPC bosses go, that was a really cool one. Uh, a lot of NPC bosses kind of feel samey and like lame. That one was not lame. That one was very cool. Felt unique. All right, let's go see what's in this other pit. <laughs> There's another fog gate here. You think this game wins game of the year? It's still, I mean, it's still, I haven't finished the game. I haven't seen everything in the game yet, but uh, I, mean, I think it's pretty obvious that this is a pretty incredible game. All right, let's see. What's in this door? Uh, nah, another one of these fucking guys. Oh, I hate these guys. Where even is he? Wow.
You're fucking kidding me. No. You gotta be shitting me. Bro, how? I can't. I, there's no way I can't fight this. There's no way. I see. Okay, I see the footsteps. This is am I dead? This is fucked. This is fucked. He's invisible and he like runs at you. This is fucked. These guys don't bleed. Is there really no closer thing? These guys don't bleed. Use the focus. Okay, where is it? This way? Come on, man. Bits. Pug PLS. Uh, Jimmy, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, AWOL Tuna, thank you for the 25 months. I'm sorry if I missed your sub. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm eating a sandwich. Are we sure we can't make this? Yeah, I'm sure. Not from there, anyway. Not from there. How many souls did I have when I died? I had no idea. Definitely lost a lot of souls. No, when I when I when I really died. Three hundred sixty-nine. Horsey jump. You can't get the horse in here. At least one. Well, okay, one is fun. Tree fitty. Three hundred five. Okay, thanks, guys. Pretty sure I got more souls from killing the necromancer, but that's okay. 80,000. Okay, this was the Necromancer fight. And then this is the other fight. Okay. It's just boobs. Well, I can see him now. Uh, it's not letting me, uh, do poison mist for some reason.
I'm dead. Oh, it's because I used all... That's why. It's because I used all my FP. That's why. I guess it was the big slash that did it. Man, this is rough. This is fucking rough, dude. Like, I can't see this. I can't see what's happening. And... Yeah. This is really tough. Okay. God, I really feel like you could almost make that. I mean, it seems doable. You know, obviously it kind of seems doable. Long sword and swing for the fences. I don't have a really good sword. All my weapons are, are close up. I've got the claws. I've got... I've got the claws, the dagger, the flail. All my weapons are pretty close range, so it's not it's not going to work out for me, unfortunately. I almost died right there again. This is the necromancer way. I always do this. What about the spear? Like the holy spear that I have? Uh, I haven't really upgraded it much. It's not going to do a lot of damage. I'm going to hit this guy a lot. Okay. Just don't take damage. Yeah, just don't take damage. Bro, like, this is bullshit. Dude, this is actually bullshit. Like, he's... It's not even, like, an edited version of the fight. Like, he's still doing all the same moves, except this time I can't see him. Like, look at that. Look at that. I was swinging there. I feel like I need a, a weapon with like a long, like a big range here and not the dagger. Don't grab me. Bro, like that was such bullshit. Did you see the feet? The, the feet were over there. I swing in the direction of the feet and he vanished. Boy, I, I don't like this. I don't like this. I, wow. Man, I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> it's annoying. Like, come on. This is dumb, dude. It's dumb.
Fuck that. That was bullshit. Oh my god, that was bullshit. Conceals wearer while crouching away from foes. Wow, that would be crazy for like PvP, wouldn't it? Dude, it should play online. It should play online and use that on people. <laughs> I, th I think a lot of like, if you think about it, play online, invade people and start using that dude. <laughs> No, no, I understand the footsteps in the water. I understand. I get that. Um, okay, so we're actually going back. Let's go here. My issue was that sometimes it feels like when he runs at you, you stop him, you get him, you get some hits, he jumps away, it resets, right? It doesn't really work that way because sometimes he just starts launching into a combo that you have no idea is there. So he's just like, hit you, hit you, hit you, hit you. I understand that they uh, they made his attacks weaker than normal. Like, I get that. But it was just very frustrating. Because it's like, man, I don't even know what's happening. Uh, so I need 16 intelligence. I need six more intelligence to wield the family heads. <laughs> I kind of I kind of want to use the family heads. Yeah, and the grab land is just, I don't know. Okay, so we're heading back here to this area. We're going in a straight line. And we're going, we have the two things. Let's go. What's the story so far? What's the main objective? Um, this game doesn't really have like a plot or a story. It's got like a lore kind of. And like your character fits into that lore, I guess. But it isn't like if you're looking for something like God of War 4 where it's like characters plot like, you know, character development, it's it's just not that kind of game. Um, there is a very cool world. And the world is interesting, but it's not it doesn't really have a story like that. So. All right, so we've got we've got these. Let's use them. We have two keys. Open up. Where are we going? Unsightly catacombs. How much you want to bet there's fucking skeletons in here? Where's my holy, my black knife? Seems like not skeletons. We'll go back to the claws. The return of the bone wheels. What kind of sandwich? It's a turkey sandwich. In the catacombs, unlikely. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, I'm playing on PC. For a nice goddamn turkey sandwich. Is this a new Wolverine game? Something like that. Wow. 
Oh my god, dude. You're such an asshole. Fuck you. God, every enemy in this game has the most insanely stupid wind-ups on their swings. It drives me nuts. Every fucking enemy has it. Every boss has it. Every enemy has it. They've all got it. At the minute, I've not seen all the bosses yet in Elden Ring been lurking while playing Lost Ark. Uh, there's a crazy amount of bosses. I guess, like, I would I would describe the boss in this game as that there are unique bosses where they're, like, they're, like, one of a kind. Like, there's not a, there's nothing else like them in the game, or it seems like they're extremely rare. And then there's other bosses that are more of, like, a generic kind. And I don't mean that as, like, an insult. I mean that you'll fight, like, the dragon, for instance. We've fought several versions of a dragon so far. And they're all... They have some slight differences, but they're all functionally basically the same thing. Right, we fought the assassin three times. We fought like four or five dragons, I think. And they're not... Um, they're not on the tier of difficulty or design of the others. They're like, they're more simplistic. It almost looks like they're still alive when they die. Right, they're different iterations of the same. They're still exciting encounters and they're still unique. How big are the dragons? Uh, I can show you a dragon that is so big you will poop your pants. Show the big dragon. All right, I'll show the big dragon. Hang on, let me get through this. I want to see what this uh, dungeon is too. Prattling pate, apologies. Rune arc. I don't understand the rune, the art, the runes yet. I don't understand them yet. Okay, so we open this door. Uh, let's go see what's in here. Have we uh, paid the people? Uh, I don't know what's going to be in here. No idea. Let's do another bet. Let's start. Uh, oh, will Barb die in the cave? I'm sorry. I didn't pay out that bet. Yes, I died in that cave a lot. Actually, I died a lot. First try. I don't know what's in here. First try. Who knows what it is? Yeah, this game has a lot of bosses. A lot of bosses. Another invisible boss? I hope not. <laughs> Anybody knows whatever in a game like this non-linear? I like watching this discover the world as much as I like watching Barb do Dark Souls Rando. Look at the raptor armor. That's cool, man. I like it. Believers rally. I don't think I have any. Um, I can't believe I was wearing that helmet and it was causing me more damage. <laughs> I can't fucking believe that. I don't know how long I was wearing it for. Okay. Is that John Snoo? I have a raptor helmet, do I? It might have been the skeletal mask. Don't you have better armor? Uh this is my best armor right now, actually. The, this is this has the most uh physical, the tree and beast surcoat. It has the best uh the best physical. Most damage is gonna be physical, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's do it.
Afraid not. Afraid not. So we've got the perfumer who is buffing the thing and the thing. Bro, move. Wait. I'm so lost. Why is this dungeon so inconvenient? Where I have to go, I have to do this fucking run back compared to all the others. Oh, come on, man. So just jump in the pit. Okay, God, it made me like look for it for some reason. Okay, let's try again. Try out the new cloak. Ah, uh, dude, that's not gonna work against these fucking guys. You kidding me? It's not gonna work for fucking shit, dude. Oh, I was just mashing RB. I'm not going to lie. I was just mashing it. <laughs> I was just fucking mashing it. Outside this game, I feel like I just give up sometimes. Like, I just got to mash because there's, there's no other hope here. Got to mash. Okay, GG. Was that it? So I guess we can summon the perfumer now. But I never really use summons either way. So they do the mash. He did the mash. I did the monster mash. Uh, all right. So we cleared out that cave. Uh, let's go ahead and go here. Uh, it's going to be bad, actually. Missed an item. We'll pay that. Relax. We'll pay the bet. Jesus. How'd you guys get so impatient? Oh, uh, let's see. Level. Let's go ahead and get some more uh, decks. More decks. Maybe I should respec and go get some of the uh, get some intelligence for the family heads. <laughs> hmm. How do you know what the final boss is? Uh, after you beat it, the credits roll. That's how you know. <laughs> So, maybe go north. Super duper north, maybe. Barg, need pay rent. Let's go north. This is where I got attacked by the lightning dragon that disappeared. He just like left. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, lightning dragon. 
Oh, uh, I haven't respec. I haven't done a respec yet. I haven't done a respec yet. I think you can only respec after you kill the moon goddess lady. Is only that's the only time you can do it. Okay, so we found another one of these things. I'm kind of curious about this. The beast eye quivers. Oh my god. <laughs> god, fuck. What the fuck? I don't know where the fuck he is. There he is. Ah! Ow. So for some reason, when you kill these boat guys, this is how you build up these like beast attacks and stuff. I'm not really sure why. I got shipwrecked. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, we got a ruler's mask and a ruler's robe. Okay, interesting. Wasn't ready for it. The skeleton is straight up from Utagawa Woodprint. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? Remind me also of uh, Walnir, obviously. Can you have a bite of that sandwich? You want a bite? There you go. Have, have some sandwich yet. There you go. Do not fire lasers. Windmills do not work that way. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. You're welcome.
There we go. Excuse you. There's God, they're still attacking. Jesus. Oh God, okay. So that's another one of those boat guys down. We can go give more of the death root to the beast guy and see what that does. He gave me some uh, beast abilities earlier. Another merit, another misfortune. Exactly. Look at those old RPGs where you fight the same enemies but in different colors. Yeah. Kind of like that a little bit, I guess. Even back then, dude, they were saving space for uh, for assets, and there was only so much room. Get the fuck out of here. I don't have any snow. So remember what originally put us on that whole thing was we wanted to find the other way where the elevator comes up from. We never discovered that. We never figured out like where. <laughs> we never figured out how to get in there. That was that originally put us down all these caves because we're, we're like, oh, let's find out how to get down there. We never found out. This game's got mixed reviews on Steam. I mean, that has to do with people being butthurt about the performance, right? More than anything else. And honestly, like, I feel like they have a justification, but on, in, in other ways, it's like, you know, it's a new game. There's been worse games at launch than, than, uh, there have been worse games at launch than, than this game is currently. I've played much, much worse. The fuck is going on in there? It's a little choppy here and there. I'm also streaming while doing it. So, I don't know. I think it runs pretty damn good. A lot of it also depends on your rig. So, like, isn't it kind of unfair to have a terrible computer load up Elden Ring? It runs like shit and you're like, fucking trash game. Isn't that kind of bullshit? Uh, I have a 2080. Hmm. Joe Blue Frog, thank you for the 27 months. Thank you very much. Um, ow. Shit hurts. Damn, dude. <laughs> Damn. How fucking cool. How cool. Do you th for 12 hours, 41 minutes? Yes, I have. Why no magic? Jeez, man, take a break. I have some magic. I've got some miracles. Oh, look who's here. Look who's here. Oh, shit. I was going to say, guys, 
What do you think happens if you get cursed? I was gonna say, man, do you, do you guys think you have to you respawn? You have no life. Yeah, we'll find out. Uh, I'd like to not find out personally. Yeah. I wonder if one of those things is going to be like a boss. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> like a giant version of those. Fucking God damn it, dude. It's another door and another one that needs keys. It looks like this one needs two. Fuck, man. God damn it. Yeah, no thanks. I'm out of here. Yeah, we gotta, maybe we gotta go buy them. Yeah, there's been a lot of, a lot of the vendors sell them for various prices. Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> Happen. I feel like that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> like that was, that that looks like something was glitchy to me. Try the scythe. I can't wield it yet. I forget. What do I need? Uh, I need 24 faith. I don't have 24 faith. Not even close, dude. Yeah. 24 faith is a real killer. Princess Bride Swamps. That is a real, real killer. Uh, endurance. Okay. Oh my God. Holy fuck, this thing is awesome. Yeah, it's not awesome when that thing fucking kicks your ass. <laughs> then it's not so awesome. Got some uh, jellyfish here. I haven't seen those in a while. 1K to eat a hot dog on stream. Eats a, uh, eats a sandwich for free. Jesus, PC Master Racer, Master Race complainers on Steam. PS5 players are just like Keck Leo. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I was actually what was I was thinking, was this guy a friend? Thank you very much. Thank you for the 23 months. Thank you, Primo. Really appreciate the resub or the 20, uh, 23. That's a long time, man.
Oh, you're just gonna fucking kill me in like one combo, huh? The Elden Ring special. Killing you in one fucking wombo combo and then never allowing you to heal. Yeah, this seems this seems much better than the flail. Yeah, the flail wasn't great. The flail wasn't great. However, we have a new flail. Let me show you my other flail. The new flail I have is a big old pile of this necromancer's family heads. He was wielding it at me. I guess it's like they're bronzed over or something. And if you do the weapon art, uh, it creates like uh skeleton heads that fly at you <laughs> i forget it, it i don't remember how much intelligence it takes a lot it's like 15 or 16 intelligence i don't have that so bro get the fuck out of here get out of here it's fucking wwe smo He's got fire coming out of his fucking head. Get out of here, man. Oh, his fire's out. Inferno Crozier. Oh, we got his hat. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Originally furnished with embers and would surge into flames of fire this cauldron. Uh, okay. Subbing spree. Can you ignite it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I don't have any pyromancy, I don't think. Rachel Daytona. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very, very much. Uh, QC player. Thank you for the 21 months. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rachel Daytona. Thank you, QC player. Lee Brink, thank you for 29 months. Uh, Primo, thank you for 23 months. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. The hammer? Where's the hammer? Requires 45 strength. There you go. Bits. That's the R2. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Lexaby, thank you for the 100 bits. Generally lighten my mood to see how good you get playing this game. I really appreciate you. Oh, thank you, Lexaby. I appreciate it. Um. We got a new cookbook. I don't really know. I know that's like crafting, right? But, uh. Yeah, I don't know. Who's talking? Somebody was talking. They'll never find me. The wretched fools. Somebody hiding here? They'll never find me. The 
wretched fools, they'll never find me. So there's somebody here hiding. Well, I'm destroying literally everything. I haven't found him yet. I, he's true. I haven't found him yet. My thumbnail on mobile is, is Mario Party. I think it's been that for a long time. I think it's been doing that for a long time. I don't know why. Hey, I'll survive, I swear it. I'll soon be back at the Volcano Manor. Uh, okay. So he did get found and he died. <laughs> Fire Scorpion Charm. Oh, we found him. Uh, fire scorpion charm raises fire attack, but lowers damage negation. Okay. That's pretty cool. If you have a weapon that does fire, uh, a lot of the weapons that I've had so far, they only do it on the special attack, not on like a normal attack. So it's kind of like dubious how good it actually is. Okay. Yeah, dubious. What would, what would you say? Dubious? Or does your vocabulary not extend that far? Maybe you can craft fire stuff. Just a funny word. Dubious. Oi, mate. It's right dubious. It's dubious, isn't it? get it because you're british athena hey hey what in the fuck whoa 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 oh great we got another fucking orator wagon over here fuck god damn it <laughs> i want to fuck oh god there's so many orator wagons here How many goddamn aura wagons do we need? Oh. Oh. Yikes. Yikes. Fucking yikes. <laughs> Fucking yikes. And I just pull out a super soaker against this guy. Okay. What if killing this guy allows you to cross lava? Man, the, the lava he leaves behind is rough. Bro, what do you, what do you, I, I'm sorry. Is this like fucking doable or, or what? Like, holy shit, man. Wow. Can you just get some, yeah, yeah. You, eventually your horse dies and when you fall off the horse, like you're big fucked. Like you might just be dead if you fall off your horse. Behind the waterfalls, Luigi. I need a goddamn Squirtle here. Okay, let's try no horse. Wait, this thing seems awful.
Oh my fucking god. What? What, dude? What are these hitboxes? What are these? You don't even know your own fucking hitboxes, dude. You don't even fucking know what you're... You don't even know what you're doing. Honestly, you don't know your fucking hitboxes. You have no idea. Okay, that's happened to me a few times where these bosses keep disappearing on me. I guess it's because they, they have like a range that they go to and they won't go beyond that. It's a little weird whenever it happens. It's not, I understand why. They don't want you dragging a boss across the whole map. I get it. Right, but I mean, at least a part of it is that I, it wasn't that I was trying to move the boss. It was that the boss did it because this boss moves like fucking crazy. So it's not really me doing it. It's the boss doing it, right? Use the big ass hammer. Man, my character is so fucking weak. I have no strength. I'm like all decks. I can't use the hammer. Well, at that point, it's kind of weird, too, because if the boss won't go behind a, uh, beyond a certain point, you could just poke it from behind that point, right? Right? So it makes sense that the boss will disappear and go back where he was, I guess. Like, look at him. He just ran over here, like... I feel like a decent number of the bosses in Elden Ring, they're really hard to fight. And not because, man, this boss is so hard. I think it's like, it's literally difficult to figure out how you're supposed to fight this thing. I feel like this is one of those. I don't understand how I'm supposed to fight this thing. I really don't. It runs at you, it spits fire everywhere, and you can't stand on the lava, and you die like instantly. Like, I, I, I literally, like, I don't know how to figure out. I can't figure out the, the ball. I don't know how to figure it out. <laughs> Range. I wonder if I could, like, poison it. Well, I think... For you to say ranged is that... The game has to account for different builds. I don't think that they intended this to be a ranged boss. Wow. Wow, that, that poison really did a fucking treat on him, man. Wow, that poison was crucial. Good thing we got it. Have any fire res items? I don't, it's, I don't even think it's necessarily the fire that's killing me. It's the death that's killing me. Ugh. Like, just occasionally I run into a boss and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> It's possible you're supposed to fight this from horseback and be hit and run. Possible. <laughs> it's possible. It's really possible.
If I bring my horse back, does it have full health? I, I don't actually know. I'm not getting close to that. Dude, did he just ignite his sword? Oh my god, he's on his fucking hind legs now. Come on. Great enemy felled. Oh, man. Oh, we got another dragon heart. Man, how, where is the cathedral for, of dragon communion? I want that so bad. Where is that? <laughs> where is that, man? I don't know where that is. Dragonland. A long, a long time ago, uh, they said that uh, there was an island somewhere to the west, but I don't know how to get to the island, and I don't know where that is, so I don't know how to get there. But I remember that I distinctly remember them saying that. I really just kind of wanted to look at this thing for a minute. Or, you know, just fucking slaughter me. Or, you know, just fucking slaughter me, I guess. Oh my God! Holy shit! One second! This game can be so stupid sometimes. When this game gangbangs you, it's so ridiculously over the top. It's just like, it's like you just never, like you're not even, you may as well put the controller down. You may as well put it down. I may as well just fucking put the goddamn controller down sometimes. It's 
Statue Light Missing Hands. It isn't like a gesture or something, is it? Hey. You actually say something? I don't know what to do with these. We've seen, yeah, we've seen these before. We've seen these before. Uh, have you ever played a Souls game, Mr. Barb? I have. Maybe there's like a gesture that matches or something here. I don't know. Give her the finger. I honestly am not sure. I am really not sure. Roiling magma. Is that a spell? Super low pinched hay. Fortnite scrubs dance. Oh, is that what we got to do? The Fortnite dance? Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Oh, man. Oh, fucking these. This bear thing is horrible. Oh shit, big bear. Yeah, that bear thing is fucking awful, dude. Ah, uh, yo, Matt the Panda. Thank you very much. No, I haven't killed one. I haven't killed one. Matt the Panda, thank you for the 20 months. Thank you, Matt the Panda. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. My character looks like a magician from Don Quixote. A pulley crossbow. It's been a hell of a couple days for you. Thanks for all you do, man. Hey, no worries. Uh, it's been a ton of fun. Uh, I've I've just been over the moon playing this. Some occasional occasional rage, but I mean, what what is a soul? What is a Souls game without an, an occasional rage? I'll pass on fighting that shit. Okay, maybe I won't pass. Demi human queen Maggie. Oh, it's another one of these things. you I don't want to, oh, it's one of these demi human things didn't I kill her earlier I think this is another version of it okay said I wouldn't but I'm addicted to giving you money why this game is working so well for you board subscription e e Fucking Burger King, bitch. Bro, fucking Burger King, bitch.
Bro, man, fighting over here is so jank. I kept falling down the ledges and shit, man. Ah, oh, that was rough. Uh, under anesthesia, thank you for the three months. Dravy, thank you for the 22 months. Sarazu, thank you for six months. Psychologist, thank you for the 55 months. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Okay. I textured this terrain. Oh, good job. Monkey. They actually were a glintstone crown. Uh, we got this. <laughs> That's kind of cool. We also got uh, this, the ruler's mask. That's kind of cool, too. But not as cool as Bowl Hat. Bits. Uh, I'm sorry, Werewolf. Thank you for the five dollars. I'm sorry. I think I got distracted by the uh, uh, the boss and stuff. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Werewolf. Uh, there's no fork. Thank you for the bits. Thank you very much. At least accounts for that schnoz. Right as the magic was about to hit me. Right as it was about to hit me. That is what I like to see. Uh, let's get some vigor and some endurance. Just fucking man, I love you. You do you do. No, it's all good. I, I miss I miss stuff sometimes. I get I, I like you know what happens? Like in my mind, I'm like, oh okay, let me thank that person. And then like I get hit 18 times by a horrible, horrible enemy, and then I'm like, oh my god, and then it like I, I forget. It's usually how it goes. Something like that. What does Vigor do? Uh, Vigor is your life pool. Like how many HP you have. Boy, this thing is so fast. be as fast as I could there. <laughs> Elden Ring! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Why are you so ludicrously fast? 
Will you stop at like this thing is so annoying. My god. This thing's attacks are either like not a threat, like you'll be totally fine, no worries, or oh my god, I'm going to die immediately. Like the biggest fucking attack ever. It's like there's two, it's totally binary of either not a threat or I'm about to die. Oh man, increases memory slots. Is memory magic? Is that increasing my magic slots? Is that what that is? So we unlocked another slot of magic. You know what's so smart? One Something that's so smart about this game is that the, there's things that you take for granted in like playing Dark Souls where it's like, oh, okay, well level up attunement and you get your slots and whatever. This game, like you unlock it as you go. So like, oh, ring slots. You start off, we started off with one ring or AKA rune slot, right? Well, we've been through the game and now we've now we have three rune slots right so we've increased our rune slots by by two uh you want to have more stuff you can't just level it up now you have to also you want you want more spells now you have to also level or find these items in the world it's really really smart the way they did that it makes it it, it incentivizes you like to explore and go everywhere and see everything because you want all these things you know so it's like the opposite, like, it's like the total opposite from like, let's say Breath of the Wild, where it's like in Breath of the Wild, it's like, okay, my stamina's maxed out, all I have is hearts now. Now, like, it's, think about it, there's the things that are incentivizing exploration are like upgrade materials, uh, new bosses, uh, better armor, better, like, better weapons, spell slots, new spells, memories, like, there's so many reasons to go explore that you're never, you're always exploring, you always want to, whereas in Breath of the Wild, it's like, all right, another shrine, I guess. Yeah, once you max out stamina, you, you, all you have left is to get hearts, right? There's nothing else to do. Find some fruit to put in your hat. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Gelmir Heroes Grave. This is like another hero's grave. And apparently this is another beast area too. Another beast area. I don't know if I want to do another one of these big tunnels right now. Like another one of these big caverns at the moment. Because uh, it, it seems like also if I go here that I'll get another beast thing. I'll try to remember this area. Where are we right now? All right. It's pretty easy to remember. Okay. Am I just straight up wearing the Lord vessel? Yeah, exactly. I'm like that. We'll come back. Put a marker. I'm like six hours in. This game is literal fire. Yeah, this game is super sick. How many hours in are we? Uh, we are 21 hours in, apparently. <laughs> According to the game. East? Hmm? I think Carmen San Diego was hot. I never really watched Carmen San Diego when I was a kid. So I don't, I don't really have an opinion. I think by the time Carmen San Diego was around, I like I had like real girlfriends and stuff, so I was like, yeah. Barb the Chad. Uh. Oh, yeah, it's just, you know, every, literally every enemy over here. Sure, why not?
aka elf ladies on muds that counts that counts totally counts those were totally chicks Carmen San Diego was on when I was seven. I'm 36. What were you doing to the girlfriend at age five? No, I said that I didn't watch it as a kid. So by the time like I was even like aware of it, I was probably like 13 or 14. So I was like, I don't give a fuck about this. I thought Velma was hot. Still think Velma's hot. <laughs> thought Dexter's mom was hot. Another somber smithing stone. Dexter's mom's got a dump truck. Dude, I want to go across this rope bridge here. An actual dump truck. You didn't play the floppy disc game for Carmen San Diego? No, I mean, I, this is the first I've ever heard of it. Whoa, that's cool. She fills the bowl. Oh my god, there's like a million of these wagon things down here. Wee! Can you imagine doing that? That would be so scary to do that. Yeah, I know better. Yeah, I know better than to fight these right now. Bro, fuck you. <laughs> Look at that thing go. <gasps> Look at that thing fucking go. Get me out of here, dude. <laughs> Beyblade. Hey, we found the rope bridge. Still haven't found... Imagine finding the map here. Can you imagine? We still haven't found the map. We've really... Like, if you look at it, we've really explored this top area a lot. We found a ton of stuff here. Hmm? Barb's face, it's everywhere. It's going to take me years to get the Sekiro Dark Souls 3 levels of good in this game. Oh, uh, no. If you start playing this, if you start with this game, you'll learn. You'll get your ass kicked for sure. You'll learn. I promise you'll learn. Won't be that. It won't be that bad. You're making a mountain out of an anthill. This is a tough game. It's very tough. It kicked my ass a little bit, but it's very learnable. It just might take you longer than than me to learn it. It's not going to be. You can definitely do it. Uh, is this going to be another tree? Does this game have fat rolling? Yeah, if you wear a fuckload of super heavy armor, you're going to fat roll for sure. That is definitely a thing in this game. Is the map as big as Breath of the Wild? I I don't know. Um, I, I don't know the actual comparison between this and Breath of the Wild in terms of just raw size. I will say that this map... I uh, hear something I care about more than the raw size of a map. The density. Uh, this map is way more dense. The areas to explore are way more interesting. It isn't just repetitive shrine, repetitive shrine, repetitive shrine. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many different things to see. What the fuck? Did you just see a building disappear? Did you just see a building disappear? Or was that my fucking eyes? What the fuck was that? You see that shit? I saw a building disappear. Pop was it a pop-in issue or was it like a mystical building that disappears? <laughs> I don't know. Which one was it? 
I swear I saw a building. Okay, so there is a time of day. There is a time of day thing in this game. Maybe if you're at a certain place at a certain time, you could like go in this mystical building, right? Why not? That makes sense to me. Uh, Cafecito, thank you very much. Thank you, Cafecito, for the 14 months. Oh, finally the fall damage. That would, that would have actually been useful to have the ring equipped. There was a building. Is this the misty woods that the one chick was talking about? Why is Barb stare at character the Stanley Cup? <laughs> Slugs. There was a building. Bro, from this, from this, cl from these clips. Oh, is it, what the fuck is that? I feel like there's about 10,000 clips of me eating shit from the past two streams. About 10,000 clips of me eating shit. Worm face. His face! He's got worms on his face! <laughs> I'm sorry, why the fuck is there a boss called Worm Face and his face is worms? George, we're uh, we're looking for a cool new boss. Uh, we want to have a new boss for Elden Ring. Uh, we're wondering if you could maybe help us with some ideas. Uh, sure, yeah, no problem. Um, let's see. He's giant. Uh, he's got he's got worms on his face. His face is made of worms. Okay, what do you, oh, George? You have an idea? That's a cool idea, George. You have any ideas of what we could call him? Call him Worm Face. <laughs> You're a genius, George. So this, this is going to show me something. This is going to show, I don't know what it's going to show me. It's going to show me something.
A uh, hot dog. Thank you for seven months. You suck at this game, dude. I sucked at this game too. I would still say I kind of suck at this game, but I've gotten a little bit better. But I'm so happy. But that's the thing is that if you here's the thing, if you suck at this game and you're like feeling bad and you're like, damn, I'm never going to beat this game. That is totally normal. That's like your first. That's like the first time souls experience. That's like a first time experience in the game. If you keep at it, if you keep at it, if you get better at it, eventually you'll be like a god. It's just a matter of time. It's not that complicated. Like eventually you'll get really good at it. And then what's going to happen is you're going to be like, damn, I wish I was bad at this game again. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that you only re you don't you don't realize you're in the good times. You don't realize you're in the good times until they're past. And let me tell you, you, you and I playing this game for the first time, this is the good times. These are the good times. If you're like, if you hate it intensely and you don't even want to look at the game, maybe the game's not for you. But that feeling of overcoming something and getting better at something and understanding something and exploring something like that's, that's what's so addictive and what's so amazing about the, the first time, you know? You forgot the part where you are being smug in the internet. I'm not being smug in the internet. I'm saying is that we're all bad at it, and then later on you're gonna you're gonna miss being bad at it. That's all. That's all I'm saying. I don't think that's being smug at all. That's the fun. That's the fun right now. Is we're all bad. Yeah, I don't know how this is being smug. I feel like I'm being inspirational. I'm already like ten times better today than I was yesterday. I'm still gonna get fucked up by bosses though. So this guy, this giant path here showed me this cave. Inspiration. What was smug about that? So those little things will show you the existence of caves and stuff. Okay. Okay. This is how you get sidetracked. Dude, I've been sidetracked since the moment I hit start the game. <laughs> As soon as I, as soon as I left the cave of information, the info cave, I was like, all right, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm completely lost. Like, look at my fucking map, dude. <laughs> the moment I was like, okay, I'm lost. Let's get lost. Oh, dude was saying that the internet in general is smug. Okay. Is this, this kind of looks like the cave where I was getting some upgrade materials before. I mean, you guys remember how in Elder Scrolls Oblivion, there was like three different caves and you would just have the same caves over and over. You guys remember that? Not the lantern. I need S this idiot. Well, those are the good old days. Yeah. Elder Scrolls Oblivion. There was like five caves and like five alien ruins and you would kind of like repeat the same templates over and over. There were a couple of different like unique ones, but a lot of them were like basically the same, like the same thing over and over. I really need to understand the rune arcs because I don't understand that. Oh, dude, I the feeling we're feeling right now about this game. That's how I felt when Oblivion came out. That is literally how I felt about Oblivion, how I feel about this game right now. No bullshit. It's the same feeling. That is a big snail. Came from Skyrim and missed that playthrough so much. Um, okay. So this is like a root of the giant tree, I think, coming through the ground. 
Do my eyes or head hurt after playing for 13 hours? Nope. I'm good. I think the only thing is that your brain can start to get tired. Uh, I believe this game has unlimited inventory. Cracked crystal. Does your wife miss you already? No, my wife understands the job and she knows what's going on. I mean, it's like tons of people work jobs where they like don't see each other and they're away from each other for a little while. For a long time. What in the fuck? Am I, it doesn't even keep up on my screen. The enemy is moving so fast. The screen doesn't even keep up. It's like glitching the game. You think maybe it's a little over the top? We design an enemy that moves so fast, it's gonna slow down your fucking computer. Maybe that's a little fast, huh? Maybe slow it down a few percentage. So, like back in the day, my um, my wife when my wife was teaching and I was streaming. Uh, I would finish stream at 2 p.m. And typically my wife would come home at like 3 or 4 or whatever. And then we'd have like the rest of the day together and we'd spend time. And then at night I would stream again. There was a while where she was not coming home like many, many times to like 6.30, 6 o'clock, 6.30. So it was like we didn't even like we didn't get to see each other basically. Like she was gone from like she was leaving at like 7, 7.30. And she didn't get home till like 6 or something, 6.30. When we first got together... Um... Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just work. That was, that was her teaching and me streaming. And this is back when I had like, you know, a couple hundred subs, whatever. And everything was still, everything was still new, so... Uh, it was middle school while she was teaching. This is what Barb calls the enjoyment period of a game when you're bad at it so fast it goes down your computer. Hey, I mean, that was fucking bold. That doesn't mean I'm going to like everything I see. I thought that was a little over the top, personally. But, uh... Uh, we, when we first got together, my job at the bookstore was, was bringing me in at, uh... Oh, what time were they bringing me in? Like, 3.30, 4 o'clock till close, and my wife was working till, like, 4. So she would work till four. Like our, our schedules just didn't overlap at all. So like, I mean, we, and we've been together for a long time, you know, like a long, long time. I think that's just part of how it goes. This has been a particular, honestly, this has been a, pr a pretty particularly crazy couple of days uh, be or weeks because of uh, Horizon and now this. But uh, I think we're at the tail end of it. Yeah, yeah. How does my Wolverine, Wolverine cosplay feel in the game? It feels incredible. Look at me, dude. <laughs> Was that the adult bookstore? It seems terrible for a couple. I mean, you know, our 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 relationship is is extremely strong, and uh, we love each other very much. And you know, we we love spending time together, but we also do what we got to do. So it's just part of it. I don't view streaming as something like, well, I made it time to relax and time to fucking fuck around and, you know, all right, see you guys. I'll be, I'll be back in a couple of weeks or whatever. I, I take it extremely seriously and. No, fuck you. God, this thing again. Uh, Spicer, thank you for the two months. Thank you, Spicer. But yeah, I, I take, I take, uh, I take my, my streaming very seriously and I, I keep my schedule or in this case, I ridiculously exceed my schedule. Craftical, thank you for the 35 months. Thank you, Craftical. Is 
it, it looks like there's actually a path down here. It looks like there's a path down there. Oh God, what is that? We've already, we dealt with one of these before in another area. Thanks for all the entertainment. Hey, no worries. Happy to do it. Looks like a boss fight. Uh, uh, I am doing very little damage to these. Bits. Never doubted your effort. Always doubted your facial hair. Only hope for the best despite your hairline. Godspeed. Bob spent. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, so. Oh no! So these, these this boss is crazy resistant to slashing and is weaker to uh, strikes. A singular strike! And it just killed me. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Well, now we know. They look like the, uh, they look like the lady from, uh, what was it? The Incredibles? The, the no capes. <laughs> they look like tall versions of that thing. Of that lady. Edna, yeah. Uh, Anto, thank you for the gift sub. Jan Iowen Aguila, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Let's try again. Final Soul, thank you for the getting a sub from somebody else. Appreciate it. I'm sorry, I don't understand when I can attack. Can you please explain to me when I can actually attack here? on this fucking spear is ridiculous. I would love to get in a visceral strike here, but it's just not working out. We can backstab.
<laughs> the ultimate what bow before your ultimate warrior bow before your ultimate warrior uh final soul thank you for the seven months thank you very much you guys want to see how i how i got my wife to fall in love with me Stop it right now. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> we won't tell my wife about that one. <laughs> that one we keep to ourselves. You like how seriously you take my streaming? Is there, is there nothing else up there? Like, why why the the thing where you can get off there? I know you're asking a lot of questions. Can you please put your flail away already? Okay. Uh, we are going to the this area. We're going this way. Eight D gang. Does anybody see anything? Bro, how do I get over there? What's the new thing we just got? Got a new charm. Guard counters. Anybody remember what it was? Oh, this was it. Greatly uh, raises maximum equip load. That's cool. That's like Havels a little bit. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Uh, we don't have that much stuff. Like, uh, what's my max? This is like my max weight. This is all, I'm pretty much maxed out on armor as is, but. So many creatures in this game look like Pokemon. So do you, do you think we're looking at another tunnel? We can, do you think we can reach that tunnel we're looking at right now? Or do you think that that's an area like we're looking at another tunnel? What do you what do you think? I can't I can't tell. I honestly can't tell. Where the hell is he? I've probably seen 80 hours combined and this is new. <laughs> well we just fought two like statue bosses. And we're in some fucking caves, God only knows where. And I'm wondering, like, obviously there's a path there, right? And I don't see a way to get over there. I don't think there's a way to get over there. Ow. And I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if it's... You know... I'm wondering if it's here somewhere, or if if I have to, like, go out somewhere else. Be back on the jumping off elevator? I guess we could try that. Yeah, that makes sense. Can 
Can you guys please? A little chop there. Climb the route. I climbed the route as far as I could go. There was nothing. See, like, there's this. But... Doesn't seem like there's anything I can do here. Thought maybe secret. Okay. Just rolling through some campfire. I want to get Andy. Actually, can level up. Uh, let's get some more strength. Sure, let's get some more strength. Just take a running start and jump the gap. All right, let's see if we can uh, go somewhere here. Oh, see, if I... Oh. I don't see a path, though. I feel like this is less that this is a secret and more that this is a way for you to get back down and not die. Does that make sense? Because if you jump, if it was just one jump, you'd die. So it's like there's two ways to go down. Take the elevator or jump. I feel like that's what it's about, you know? When's my Steam Deck arriving? It says Q2. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that means. Q2. So, like. Kind of sounds like there's voices here. It's not like voices. Yeah. What? What is that? This game is going to drive me insane. <laughs> I'm going to just walk. I'm going to walk around my house fucking hitting walls and stuff. You know, like I thought I heard something in here. I'm going to start hitting walls and be like, oh, thought I heard. Is there something? Is I looks like there might be a secret here, honey. You appreciate the removal of weapon durability. Weapon durability was always kind of a pointless system. In Dark Souls, it kind of like, oh, okay. Like my weapon, my weapon can break. Okay, so I have to repair it and stuff. But the fact is that it can screw you super hard because it's not even apparent that it's happening. It doesn't tell you like, it only tells you weapon at risk when your weapon's about to break. So it's always been a stupid system. And then they do like, oh, it'll automatically repair. So these are the whispers out here. So it seems like there's another thing somewhere around here. We don't know exactly where. It's all fun and games until Wormface. Dude, Wormface is the greatest FromSoft boss of all time. Our top 10 Elden Ring bosses. And our number one pick for Elden Ring is Wormface. He's the greatest boss FromSoft has ever done. He's got a face. It's made out of worms. Be sure to hit like, comment, subscribe on the video. <laughs> Name worthy of Taser face. Yeah. You the two key. Uh, I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Again, I don't want to look. So... Maybe, would you think that there's another tunnel nearby? Okay, before hang on, before we do anything, before we do anything, we've, we've been at it for a while. Let's go, I wanna go back here. We have a ton of materials. I think possibly we can do something. Did I fully clear Stormvale? Uh, maybe. The problem is that I don't remember what Stormvale is. <laughs> Here's the problem. Don't remember what Stormvale actually is. Big problem. Did you find the sword of darkness? Well, I took you no matter to relay out your arms. Okay, so we can't upgrade the flail. We actually can upgrade the black knife. We have been using the black knife when we can't when when bleed is not effective. I mean, why not? Right? Why not? Okay, so we upgraded it twice. Now the black knife is plus six. 
That's cool. Uh, what about the Wolverine claws? I feel like I have like three different weapons that I'm kind of using. I don't have these. I don't know where the smithing stones three are. I don't know where they are. How am I enjoying Elden Ring? I'm having a, I'm having a fantastic time with it. I'm having a fantastic time. Uh, flail poisonous mists. So this one will lower the damage and causes poison buildup. So, dude, if we put poison on my flail, we could call it bleed and poison. <laughs> A poison bleed flail. Check it out. See? It would do a little bit less physical damage. I wonder if that would be good. Forget the flail. Hey, the flail, dude, the flail just saved my ass. The flail literally just saved my ass. What do you mean forget the flail? If I didn't have the flail, I would have got my ass eaten by those two statue women. This would give a uh, lightning damage. Hmm. I can't infuse the dagger, can I? No. I can't bring back the early game club. See, I've got these grant the blessing of an equipped great rune. Do I have any great runes equipped? I don't, do I? I don't think any of these are considered great runes, are they? This game's hard. Yeah, this game is absolutely challenging. Very challenging. I thought I had more upgrade materials. At least I upgraded the knife a little bit, right? I can't I can't believe how like girthy the game is. I think that's that's what I'm surprised by. It's massively massively girth, girthy and girthy. So yeah, check it out. I've got a lot of room for spells. Uh, let's see. So we've got flame cleanse me and I can also memorize another one of these swiftly flings numerous sharp rocks. I don't know how good these are, but sure. Uh, I, I kind of almost want to level up FP kind of almost want to level that up. Here, let's go, uh, let's go draw. I have another death rot thing. Let's go to this guy. Please describe it any other way. Thicker than Aloy. I'm going till 3 a.m. tonight again. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got another day tomorrow. Okay, hand over the death root. Beast Roar. Okay, so we got a new art, Beast Roar. Okay, it's not about size, how you use it. It has spanked me already so many times. Dude, I've been spanked a fair a fair number myself. Don't don't worry, don't feel too bad about that. I thought maybe Beast Roar would be here. I don't see it. So what is uh hang on? Oh, look at that. I'm throwing pocket sand, pocket sand. <laughs> Got some pocket sand. Hell yeah. I bet Barb forgets tomorrow, Saturday and wakes up early just to play more Elden Ring. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. What's the best class for beginner? Never played souls. I really just choose one that looks good to you. And, uh, you know, there's really not much else to really say about it. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I'm going here. Obviously, start with deprived. Yeah, anything but wretch will be will be better. Just don't choose the wretch, and you'll be fine. Wretch is basically hard mode. Don't choose the wretch.
Okay, I haven't been here. gonna kill me these horse physics aren't very realistic it's not even a horse it's like a spectral goat gift sub how man i don't get it uh anto thank you very much Dude, what if uh this cave goes west? What if this poops me out on the other side? Oh, dude, we're <laughs> I think we're uh I think we're kind of strong for this cave. I don't know. I think we might be a, a tad strong for this one. The old touch of death. Spare them. So we're kind of going southwest. Maybe we're going underneath the ground here. Maybe we're underneath it. Nice bowler hat. What level are you? Just did this and I was OP. Uh, I am currently level 59. Ah, ha, 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 well, to some degree, I think a lot of damage is tied to uh, just upgrading weapons and being able to upgrade something. So the first thing you'd have to do is find the weapon that works the best at soul level one. And then maximize your damage on it. And then from there, it's just learning enemies and bosses and shit and like where you have to go. So. But uh, with that said, I, I don't know, man. It, this... I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't even know how you beat the game. So like if you were trying to beat the game as fast as you can. Is this the dra- Oh, we found it. Hey, we finally found it. Uh, channels dragons to spew flame, uh, flame breath. Channel dragons to rend foes. So this all requires arcane and faith. 
So we would have to level up arcane. So this is like a f uh, cool. I mean, sure, learn it all. Go for it. So I've now learned fire breath, dragon claws, and something else too. Damn. Where are we? Uh, we are here at the Church of Dragon Communion. To get over here, we had to go through a tunnel. That was a coastal cave. You pop out the other side. I think you were supposed to find this way earlier because I absolutely massacred the inhabitants of that cave. <laughs> it, uh, it wasn't pretty for him. Oh, dude, you got the ships over there. Is George R. R. Martin's writing very noticeable? Uh, yeah, I, I personally thank George R. R. Martin for creating such a memorable character as Wormface. Uh, it really, the, the millions of dollars they paid him truly paid up. Wormface had so many memorable lines and just parts. I think he has the best, the best writing in any FromSoft game I've ever seen. I think I yeah, I think I was the boss on that one. <laughs> Call an ambulance, but not for me. Okay, it seems like that's the only thing on the island, maybe. Okay, well who knows how good this dragon stuff is? Who knows? Look at me, I'm the boss now. Yeah, who knows? We can come back here anytime, I suppose. Oh. Uh, we're way up here. Oh, man. What is this? Ship. Oh, uh, there's still a... Look at this big blank area right here we haven't been to. I still feel like there's there's stuff still in the... Uh, the Rhea Lucaria library and stuff. I still feel like there's stuff we missed in there. There's stuff over here. Can't imagine anything dragon being good. Any idea how many bosses there are? I don't know, dude. I've killed so many bosses in the game. Like, if, you, if you're, if you're, if you're, like, if your criteria for what is a boss is a thing with a health bar, like a name and a health bar, it's like endless. There's like never ending bosses. They, they don't stop, they just keep going. <laughs> You didn't realize how big the map was? I don't even know the half of it because there's also an underground area which we haven't seen everything of. So hang on. Check it out. This tunnel here that remember that tunnel there was like an elevator. I still feel like we're going to need the tunnel to access like a tower or something. So like hang on. So like you see this area we haven't figured out how to get like here or here. I feel like the tunnel, the like the underground is the way to reach that. But like how, you know, I have most of Limgrave and that's it. Yeah, I, I still feel like I've missed stuff. There's probably some stuff around here I've missed too. Who knows? No idea. All right. I think what we're going to do is uh, I'm tired and I'm going to go spend some time with my wife. I've been streaming a lot. I think we're going to call it there. I will be back streaming uh tomorrow i'll be back streaming tomorrow i'm tired i think we could all i think we could all use a break i think we could all you guys are probably tired of looking at me uh don't worry we're not we're obviously not even close to done with elden ring uh it seems like there's still a lot to go and uh man i'm having just i am just having an absolute blast i'm having a total blast with the game